channel. So by the title, by the thumbnail, I'm pretty sure you know what this video is about. And it is about why I'm leaving the military. So did I get fired? Did I separate? Did I quit? Am I retiring? Kind of like, what's, what's up? So I am retiring. And as of August 31st, 2024, your girl will be officially retired. Okay. Yay. Can we get some claps for that? Like, I had to put the phone down just to do some claps because I never thought I would be saying that, especially so soon. Because I'm pretty sure if you haven't watched any of my videos, you don't know, but I have not done a full 20 years in the military. To retire from the military, you have to do 20 years. However, there are some circumstances where you will be medically retired, and that is what I am. I am permanently medically retired as of the 31st of August. Uh, and that's kind of what I alluded to in the last video where I said, hey, I had a life event and I'm going to be sharing that life event with you guys today. So let's get into it. As of last year, April of 2023, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, also known as LADA, so it is latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. And that was a shock, to say the least. It was a very crazy time in my life, just because up until that point, I had been relatively healthy, didn't have any issues, um, yeah, besides maybe like some acne. <laughs> Some acne, a little plantar fasciitis, you know, a knee hurt, and small things here and there. Some anxiety, okay? All hot girls have anxiety. So, like, what's, what's, what's different? This, this was a serious one for me. Um, and it was totally unexpected. I had no idea. I had been to my primary care physician who told me beforehand, after getting my labs back, that I was borderline diabetic and I assumed hey okay diabetes I'm not eating well standard American diet I need to take better care of myself I need to just run a little bit more I need to lift a little bit more so started meal prepping again got back into the swing of things with the gym went to a personal trainer was going to a personal trainer and what they look at is known as your A1C my A1C actually got worse instead of getting better so yeah that and some other things which i'll kind of touch on later in the video is how i found out that i had diabetes like actually got the confirmation and everything however before then i was just just living just living life as far as my condition i cannot serve in the military on active duty status with type 1 diabetes. I do know some people that have type 2 have also been medically separated, but because that is a condition where, hey, you can come back, you can be on the other side of it, not necessarily come back, because once you have diabetes, you'll always have diabetes. However, with type 2, if you do get it under control with your medication and with your diet, excuse me, with your diet and exercise, you don't have to take the medication. Great. For me, being type 1, my pancreas is not doing what it needs to do. I need medication. It is what it is. Like, I cannot live without my insulin. And the military is like, oh, girl, no. That's a no for us. That's what they told me. Flat out. So I ended up going through what they call the MEB process. It's the Medical Evaluation Board. They put me through. I got to get notes and everything from my physicians. My commander had to look at it. It went all the way up to Big Air Force. And Big Air Force was the one who told me, no, you can no longer be in the military with us. We have to send you through this process. You have to go get all these exams, everything that has ever happened to you while you're in the military. We need you to list it out, all of your conditions, 
blah 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 and that's where you get you know your disability rating and all of that loveliness from um and yeah prepare to potentially be out of the military within six months and i was like oh what so not only did i get diagnosed with this chronic condition that's a life-changing condition at that because it literally changed everything i do decisions i make throughout the day just how i'm existing totally uprooted changed 110 percent not only did you just drop that on me but boom a couple weeks later hey yeah you're also about to lose your job yeah you are and it was like Ew. we're adding salt you know we gonna add salt to the womb what the hell like why would y'all say that we're... okay so yeah very shocking moment for me when all of this was happening i went through the process and if you guys are interested and you have questions of what that was like and what going through and getting set up for my disability and all of that is let me know. I guess I can answer like a little bit of it just depending on what it is. Yeah. So my intention was to actually stay in the military. I was probably going to end up doing a full 20. I did not enlist wanting to do 20 years. I didn't, but I was doing it. Like I was doing it. I was promoting. I was winning awards. I was helping people I was doing things it was like hey I'm succeeding and I want to do more and it was like I don't just want to do my job I like I said in my last video I graduated college that's what I needed to apply for officer training school I wanted to put a package together to go become an officer well <laughs> I I asked when I first got diagnosed hey is this going to interfere with me applying for OCS a little bit I know yes it was I never applied I never submitted a package because before I could even do that I got hit with the hey we're gonna have to put you up for the MEB um if I did not go to officer training school and switch over from enlisted to become an officer I was gonna work my ass off to promote to make masters so that I can go become a first sergeant like a diamond wearing first sergeant I have had the opportunity to go to the symposium, get the cert, and I have held the phone. I've done additional shirt duty, and it was something that I really liked doing. So I was like, well, I can actually do this. I can step outside of my career field, which was something I wanted to do anyway, do something different, and I don't have to just stick to working in a the hospital. There are other avenues. And if you are in the military right now, you're like, oh my gosh, you can do a whole bunch of other things. You can cross train, you can go to the reserves, you can go to the guard, you can apply for one of the programs like for medical i know we have a bunch of them like NECP. you want to go to nursing school you want to go to the ipad program be a pa um you just want to go and be an officer in general you can do that as well so that was what i wanted to do unfortunately my military career is done so so i will never know what could have been or what would have came what would have became of that but i guarantee you if i would have put in and did what i needed to do i probably would have promoted i probably would have became a shirt and that was only if i would not have applied and got picked up for ocs first because it would have happened as well pretty sure so moving forward like I said, the military for me is over, but now it's like, hey, what are you going to do post-retirement? And everybody keeps asking that, and I'm just like, okay, I keep trying to make this quick because my camera keeps dying on me, and it is very annoying. It's not even dying. It's just overheating and shutting off. So, yeah, we're going to speed things up. So, sorry if this is a little bit rushed and all over the place, but my camera... Just like my pancreas won't let me be great, okay? So before we got interrupted, I was talking about my plans post-retirement and just what I'm doing, what I plan on doing now that I am free from the military. And honestly, it is whatever I want to do. So right now, I'm on what you call terminal leave. 
So I had days left up each month in the military. You earn two and a half days. I still had days left over, piled up, that I hadn't used. So at the end of your contract, whether you're retiring, separating, whatever, if you have those days, you do have the option to use those days at the end of your term. So pretty much, although, hey, I don't retire until the 31st of August officially, I have been chilling at my house for the past like four weeks now because I have days left over. So you get that time to, of course, like look for a job, relocate if you need it, um, just take it, take time off, go on a little vacation, whatever you want to do with it. So every day I wake up and I'm just like, what does Diamond want to do today? Well, what's going to make me happy? What's going to put me in a good mood? How can I be productive? Which is how we got back to YouTube as you can see but just very small things or things that I never thought of or I just didn't have enough time to do while I was working because working a full-time job it does take a lot out of you it does I don't care what anybody says it takes a lot out of you and it doesn't matter if that's a physical job you're on your feet all day if it's something where you gotta think and you're in charge of other people you're mentally fatigued which I experienced a lot of then just trying to exist. Hey, I want to go to the gym. Hey, I want to hang with my friends. Hey, I want to have a social life. Hey, I want to clean up my house. You know, just existing can be tiresome as well. So, yeah, it's just like, wow, what can I do now that I have all this free time? So tomorrow I start swim lessons. I'm so excited. I'm like a kid. I didn't clean my makeup brushes. I've been at home baking. I got like a little routine going on where I wake up every day I go outside I sit on my patio I call my family I FaceTime with them I talk to them just giving more time to like my family members my friends trying to just catch up on things that I feel like I missed out on and then like I said just getting back looking for hobbies that stimulate me physically hence the swim classes that I start tomorrow. I've gotten back into running and just running outside and not always running on the treadmill at the gym. Just getting back into that. Um, I would really like to get into an adult gymnastics class as well. That seems like so much fun. Going back to the gym, getting a nice routine, going to Pilates classes, just really staying active. Like that's what I want to do in my free time. I would also like to do things that stimulate my mental. I would love to learn how to play poker. I would love to learn chess, how to play chess. Um, I've been doing puzzles. I've been putting together Legos. Like, just anything I can do. I'm just like, I have so much free time right now. And I'm taking advantage of it because I do know, hey, although I have free time right now, because I am not the 20 year retired and I'm only medically retired, I do not get retirement pay in conjunction with my VA disability. So I am going to have to go back to work. Hey, if I want to travel and, and do things and go shopping and have fun and be spoil myself like I've been doing, I'm going to have to go back to work. So I'm taking advantage of all of the time. Excuse me. So I guess that kind of sums up why there's going to be a shift in content. I did not make that much military content to begin with outside of what I packed for deployment and kind of what I did, which I can do an update on my career field because it has changed. But of course, hey, I'm not going on any more deployments. I'm not going to be doing any of that stuff. And, you know, years from now when things in the military change, I'm not going to be that person to go to because I'm not going to know. I'm just not going to be up to date with what's happening. So, yes, there will be a shift in my content and hopefully you guys appreciate the videos that are not just military related if possible i would love to become a full-time content creator but i know that requires a lot of consistency so we'll see we'll see that is the goal though the goal would be to get enough subscribers that i could become a full-time content creator i would love to go on like some brand trips and you know, I, I see it happen for other people. And if it can happen for other people, it surely can happen for me too. I just got to put a little work into it. So I would love to be a full-time content creator and just have these experiences and share them with you guys on this platform. 
However, I do know that's going to take some time, but if we can get there, we can get there, okay? I, I love it. I love it. I show y'all all around everything I do attached to my hip, okay? That gimbal is attached to my hip. Camera attached to my hip. I got y'all. So I say all this to say that I'm just really excited to see what comes for me. I am getting ready to go into a program that is going to set me up for another career, which I'll tell you guys more about that once I actually start and kind of fill out the program and everything. Um, but I'm just really excited. I am. I'm excited. I have been in the military for 11 years as of April. 11 years. I have been doing this for so long. I really don't know what life is like. I gave all of my 20s to the military. I have no idea what the civilian sector is like and I'm about to find out. So I'm excited. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Wish me luck. Um, and yeah, I'm going to keep you guys posted. I'm really, really excited. I'll probably do like some more sit downs where I'm just talking on specific things like, hey, what was it like when I first got diagnosed? I'll probably do a whole video on like my insulin pump that I have to wear, my CGM that I wear, just what life is like, what my diet is like, what everything is like, considering the fact, hey, I have to adjust i'll probably do videos about that um i'll do videos just talking more so about the military and my exit process and then whatever you guys want to see please leave me something in the comments so i actually know what content my subscribers are looking forward to from me because i'm making these videos for y'all so i appreciate y'all for letting me have a outlet to just be creative and kind of get my thoughts out there so like i said in the last video thank you to everybody who has subscribed if you haven't please do so share with a friend tell a friend and tell a friend and i will see y'all in my next video